Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plants, and today we're going to be starting a project that I've honestly been thinking about a lot lately, and <laughs> it's been one of those things that I'm like, I feel like I just need to do it and finally get it done. Um, I know it's like kind of morbid, but I have just been thinking a lot lately, like especially with talking with my husband whenever we talk about like finances or you know, things about the house, like he has his side of things that he takes care of and I have my side of things. But I, like, I would kind of just was at the point where I was like, I think if something were to happen to me tomorrow, like he would have no clue what to do, you know? And so I wanted to put together a notebook for a just in case. And again, I know that's like morbid to like think about, but like I literally don't have any of this stuff written down anywhere. Like I don't have anything to where if something were to happen, he would know where to go to figure things out. Um, and of course, like running a business, I feel like I think of that too, because he doesn't know anything about how to do anything for that. And I'm like, what if something happens and there's orders? Like, my brain is just one of those brains that just, like, thinks of all the worst case scenarios. Um, but this is a project I just think is an important thing to make. Um, and I just want to make it fun and make it pretty and all that good stuff. So I have a couple of supplies here. I have the big size page protectors um, from the Happy Planners website. I have these big dividers, which I'm really, really excited about. And then I have a notebook that I'm going to turn into it. And then along with that, I've made a couple of um, words. Uh, I can't remember what this font was, but it is on... Um, da font d a f o n t dot com um i think it's just one of the script fonts but there's so many fun fonts um but i made like a bunch of words so i can make separate sections that way it's just like super clear and then this will be put somewhere safe and all that kind of thing so we're just going to set that up obviously i'm not going to show like all the documents and stuff going in here but i'll kind of talk through my plan for each section um so i chose this one because i liked the inside of the cover so I'm actually going to start with that first and I'm going to take this off and I also chose this one because I have two of this notebook um, and I was like, well, this one would be good to go ahead and, you know, change into something else. So I'm just taking off some of the stuff that's in the way. I'm going to put this cover, um, the back cover on the front, if I can get it on here and then I'm going to flip it over and then put the front cover on the back. So that way I have that. So this will be my new notebook. I'm not gonna have all of these papers in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and I need to I need to do like a de-stash of some paper because I have a lot of paper. Like I'm good for <laughs> journaling every day for a couple years I feel like I have so much paper anyway okay so I think I'm only going to keep one section in here that is paper I also don't think I'm going to keep all of these um extra little dividers so I think I'm going to take those out too so took out two sets of the paper um and then I'm going to leave one set in here that'll be at the back because those will be what I actually write things on I think and they're already decorated, but I'll probably decorate them more just for fun. And then I have these hard dividers that these just came out in the Happy Planners spring release. And I was really excited when they came out with them because I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Because I was planning to just use like, you know, these decorative like divider things. But I like the idea of having like a sturdy hard plastic. Now my plan is to put a sticker on them, but with the material these are, it's kind of like the, if you've gotten the, um, sticker, oh my gosh, what are they called? Like the sticker guide, like things where you put the stickers on, on your spread, and then you can see, you can rearrange the stickers, and then you can actually put it on your spread. It's kind of like that, um, so I think the stickers probably will end up peeling off, but we're gonna try it. If it doesn't work, that's totally okay. I could always use the dividers, put something on the tab, and then on the inside I can make like a decorative um, page, you know, where I would stick that sticker. So I'm not super worried about it, but these are the colors we have. We have a pink, we have a blue, we have like a minty blue, and then like two different shades of yellow. Um, so I'm going to stick these in here, just like so. 
we're just gonna get this all prepped and then you know things will go in between wherever I need them I'm trying I've been trying to like think about the order that I wanted to do um, all my tabs in Ooh, the other side I wonder if I should use I think I'm gonna use the other side because the other side's like not what what would it be called it is not coarse <laughs> like the front of it so I think I'm actually going to use I'm gonna flip these that would have been good to know two seconds ago so I'm actually gonna reverse the order of these and the yellow is gonna go first because the back side is a little softer and I think my sticker will actually be able to adhere to this okay so let's try this again I know I literally just did this but we're reversing because one side is smooth and the other side is a little rougher so I'm gonna stick it on the smooth side in hopes that my sticker um, that I made for like that tab sticks on there we'll see I don't know if it actually will but one can hope am I right okay so I have my first set I do have another pack I was able I went to Hobby Lobby um, and Hobby Lobby had them and thankfully they were on 40% off so I was like sweet so I went ahead and grabbed more so I do have more if I need them I'm trying to like not make my desk chaotic I know that won't happen for too long um, okay so I made this sticker right here I think I'm gonna call it just in case and again I chose this cover because I had a lot of space and then I was like I could put that on there like I have space for that I just printed it it's not like great quality sticker paper but that's all I did and then I had my Cricut cut it out if you don't have a Cricut you could easily do the same thing and just cut it out with scissors or an exacto knife I did not make this an easy sticker to get out I should have gave it a square offset or something because there's lots of little bits that could just like break <laughs> oh no I just broke the tea oh my goodness I shouldn't have made it like that I should have just like put it in a shape and then it would have been okay but I think I'm gonna put this um, like right over here so I'm trying to be careful because my tea is kind of wonky now and I want to make sure I don't have to lift this up don't want to give myself a reason to have to fix it <laughs> um, okay that's okay there we go so I'm titling this just in case because that's just what my brain Okay, so right now my categories, I have bank accounts, I have important documents, I have business, I did an other, I did a savings, I did a bills, and then I did a passwords. I'm sure there you could break these down even more. I thought about doing like mortgage and all that stuff, but I'm like, that's all in bills, so I probably would just have like subcategories like within those ones, because um, I was like, I could do that, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to have bills be first and then I think I'm going to have important documents at the back. Um, and that's like where using these would come into play. So things like even just doing copies. I mean, we have, you know, our other stuff stored elsewhere, but even just like copies of things like important documents, that way there's at least you know, a copy version somewhere, um, like our marriage license, birth certificates, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, you know, or even, and then it could have a thing in there where it tells you, like, this is where the original document is. Because I don't know if I want to store the original documents in here, but you definitely could. If you have, like, a safe, and then you could put this whole book, like, in a safe. Okay, I'm just rubbing that in. So I have my big bills. And then, so I can title the end tab, I am going to grab my Dymo. Is it Dymo? I always want to say Dynamo, and I'm like, that's not what it is. But I'm going to grab this guy. I was making um, I was making tags for my Villa Beautiful pens. Um, but I'm going to do a Bills. I'm going to see if this might be too big and or too small. Right now I have clear paper with like a black writing on it. 
Um, and I feel like that's good. So then I can put something on my tab. And yes, I could go through sticker books and find a sticker for this, but I want these all to look the same and they're not going to look the same um, because I know all the categories I have, there isn't like a sticker from like a sticker book in there. So I'm going to just do that. And then that way I have that one. So let's do bills. Um, I think I'll do passwords. Just lay this right in here. And this is definitely a page I think that I'm not going to decorate because all the times that I update my passwords and all that stuff, I feel like the page would constantly be like thrown out or updated because I hate whiteout. So I probably wouldn't use whiteout as a resort to like changing and updating, you know, a password in here. So I think this one will just be like a piece of paper and then that way when the time comes, you know, the passwords can be updated. Also, switching it to the smooth side is working. Things are sticking really well. I'm sure I can still peel it up if I need to, so if I ever want to change it, that's the nice thing is I think I'll be able to easily um, peel up my stickers if I no longer wish to have, you know, these categories on here. And I don't know. I haven't even told my husband about this project, so my plan is to bring it to him and be like, does this work? Um, and then if he has any other ideas of things that should be included in here, then we can do that. Okay, so we did passwords. Um, let's do some bank accounts. And some of these will might be like duplicated areas, like, I don't know. But I just wanna make sure like the main, main things are around. I wish these dividers came in more colors. Like I hope they come out with more colors, I guess, I don't know. I feel like that would be real nice if we got some other other colors in these I'm just rubbing these in so that way the cloudiness kind of goes away It'd be better if I had like a card handy or something but as usual I don't okay so then um, this one I think I'm gonna have to do smaller because it's a long word to fit Ooh, I cannot spell. It's a long word to fit on this little tab. So I think doing it teeny tiny will work. And I can also trim it so it's not as long. I love this thing. I use it so much. I haven't gone into the house <laughs> and labeled things in the house, but I am always tempted. I am always tempted to like go in and like be using the label maker for everything, but I use it a lot for work stuff, which is nice. Definitely a worth it purchase and it's purple. That's a win. Okay. So we have that tab. Um, let's do subscriptions and memberships. See, this is what I should have did with the front cover sticker. I like made it a box originally. The cut was like this and I was like, that's going to be a nightmare to lift up. And I should have did that with the other one. But I was not thinking of that <laughs> at the time. Okay. Just gotta rub it in. Like you see the cloudy. Like I'm just rubbing away. Getting out any of the air that's in there. Okay, I think I'm going to abbreviate this one because this is such a long, so I think I'm just going to make it bigger and I'm going to do subs. Um, and I got to find the slash. Would it be dumb to say mems? <laughs> I'm like, is that dumb? I'm going to say mems. Mems. Mems? Should I have done M-E-M-B? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to do BS. <laughs> it's going to look stupid anyway. <laughs> but I'm like, that's so long to like have as a tab. But I think I'm going to do that. Oh, well. You know what? I'll know what it means. That's all that matters. You can do your categories. 
this is just something like I'm like, ah, I'm so glad I'm getting this done. And then it's going to be like finding everything, actually filling it in. That's like a whole nother, you know, the first project is getting it set up. And then I really have to go through and like sit down and find all the things. Okay. And then let's do savings. Um, I can get it up nicely. Do say, oh my goodness, mm. savings, and then I'll have to open my other pack because I have three more tabs that um, I want to get in here. So I'll get the second pack in here as well. But so far, this is how we're looking. You can see all of our whatchamacallits. Flip it to the back. Okay, I'm getting my second pack in, and I'm just like so glad that I got two packs of these because otherwise I would not have had enough for this video. So I'm glad I had to go to Hobby Lobby because otherwise I probably would have started this and then had to pause because I wouldn't have had enough. So thank goodness I was able to find some. Okay, so my next one, let's do business on this one. Oh my goodness. This up. Business, just like the how to's, how to log in, how to something, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and then let's do the other. And I'm not 100% sure what would go in here. I just feel like having an other, an other section would be a good idea. You know, maybe that could be like paint colors that we used in the house, things like that. I don't know. I need to find those swatches because I definitely lost them, but I know I saved them. I just don't know where I put them. Okay. And then the last one, I'm going to do important documents. So if I could not rip it. That would be great. And then I just need to go through and make my words. Okay, so I have all, all of my tabs in here. So we've got bills, we have passwords, bank accounts, subscriptions, savings business other important and then I do have two extra so I'll just leave those in here because there's not a lot in here and there probably won't be that much more in here um, and then I'm going to take some of this paper back here and I'm just going to go through on the ones where I'm like I know this one is going to be like a place where I'm going to write some things so Again, bills will probably have subcategories in it. Like I printed out um, like some of our billing statements for certain things. So I can punch those and put them in here because those like will have account information um, and you know, like where to go. And then like the passwords will be in a different section. So I'm actually gonna put a couple of pages in there because passwords get changed so much. So it'll be good to like keep that you know, updated, um, and then bank accounts, Put some paper in there. I know I have paper that I pulled out, but I'd rather use paper in here because I don't really want to add more paper anywhere. So I'm just going to put some of these in here. Okay, again, subscription and memberships. I just need one. We don't have a lot of those. 
savings. And a lot of these are just like drawing attention of where those things are. I feel like I need more paper in that section. <laughs> And then, last, I'm going to pull out these page protectors, which I'm so excited about. I don't think I need all of them, because this is a lot. How many did this come with? This came with 12. I feel like 12 is excessive for this, but maybe I can take them out, because I don't really have anywhere else to put them right now. So maybe I can take them out. But again, I'm thinking like... Things that are important documents that I don't want to punch with my happy planner punch. Um, that's what's going to go in these sleeves. So like things that are a little too important to, you know, punch through. Um, so that's what I'm planning to put in those. And like I said, I'm just going to put all of them in here for now. Because I don't really know where else I'm going to stick these. Otherwise, they're just going to be like falling all over the place in my office. So I'm just going to stick them in here. And as this gets thicker and thicker, I'll take stuff out because obviously that's something I'll have to do. I do have some more of these things that I did of extras. So like I can go in and make these a little bit cuter so I can, you know, label it bills. I think I'm going to, I think my plan is to do like a whole list of these are all our bills when they come out kind of like the sheet I made for my planner that tells all our bills that we have and like when they're due um and then I'll probably put something in here like this one is an automatic payment it comes out of this card or this bank account or whatever like kind of just put more in-depth details than what I did for my planner and just really go in deep for that so I think that is what my plan is as far as um the bills so writing the bill the day the bill you know is due um, what account it usually comes from um, and then just like any additional information for that and then like I said I am I did print out like statements for certain bills like our mortgage and like our utilities and blah blah that way then that information like the account numbers and stuff is all on there um, and then I think what I could do because I want to do subcategories is maybe you know add in some of these like just like decorative ones and then I can make like little categories for that but this is something I'm going to have to like spend some time and actually like sit down and write things down again passwords because passwords change so much and I'm not a big fan of wide out I'm probably going to be rewriting these pages over and over I'll probably let it get to a certain point where you know I write all the passwords down for everything and then as soon as like I have scratch marks through several of them I'll probably go in and you know make that not look like that anymore and then make a new one um and I don't know maybe this will be something like once I have everything written out once I'm sure things aren't going to change for like a hot second maybe I can go in and make cuter sheets that are decorated and then have it in there and then only update those every now and then bank accounts subscriptions Again, just writing those things down, instructions probably. I don't know what I'm going to put in other. I feel like this is like if my husband has anything to contribute that's not any of those categories, it can go in there. And then if not, I do have two more tabs and then important documents, passports, blah, blah, blah. Like I feel like some of those things could go in here. Then I don't just always know where to grab them. But there we go. Just a video of something that I have been wanting to do for a really long time and it's time to like actually sit down and get this done because again I overthink everything and I'm just like all the time I'm like if something were to happen to me tomorrow like you would be screwed like he would not know anything <laughs> like he would not know anything and so I'm like I feel like having this and then putting it somewhere safe will be really helpful for our family um, and then that way we can just make sure everything is just always taken care of but there we go, you guys. I so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!